good. Okay, well, stay where, where you at. I'm sorry, your question? The 100 foot take come in the kit? No, no, it does not. You have to go to Lowe's to buy it. Yeah. 44.7. So we went from 44.5 to 44.7. Come back to, to 52. And we come closer, we're at 44.2. So we're right there within the plateau of where we want to be. If we needed to be below what we considered 44, I mean, technically, right now we're... But you're looking for 100 or less? We're looking for less, 100 or less. The, the OSHA standard is 25. Optimum would be 25. Yeah, correct. And that, and that agrees with National Electric Code, so... But you, keep in mind, all those codes are written because you've got an active energy field, not mm -hmm. something that's a static, static energy field. Yeah, and this energy field is just designed to dump static electricity. <laughs> nah, i got gloves up there, but I'm good to go for right now. I'm wearing a nice winter jacket. Yesterday was a really nice day. Yeah, it was a beautiful day yesterday, wasn't it? Okay, so you would hold that right there for me, sir. We need to remember at minimum our ground rod needs to be this far apart because that's how far in the ground we are. Safety precaution, let's go over a little bit further. Go ahead and push that in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Scott, come on! I, I outweigh him. Go ahead and use the hammer. Well, when I did this in Marion County, what I was doing was we were like having a smitty drought, and it was it was taking forever. So on the second class, I taught what it is. I went out there before the class started, and I, I poured the water. All the ground got nice and soft. And I took a young kid in the class, I took him to the dry area. They, they didn't know this. And he's like, this guy's got muscles out here. It's like, damn. I guess I got the oldest guy in the class. I said, hey, yeah, put yours right there. No way! So now we're going to bond these two poles together. We were at what? 44.2 last time? Sure. We're going to press and hold. Just doubled, we just doubled our surface contact area. We're down, we're down to 21 now. So 21.1. So now being at 21, we just put another rod in. Well, that's it. Yeah. Go ahead and go to the Go down, connect that, that line down at the bottom. We got a good, a good grip on it. Right the ISIS alarms are going off. <laughs> 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 the first place we had been training at was an armory. Mike's in the back of the truck. The sergeant major comes up and goes, What are you doing? He goes, I'm doing training. He goes, What kind of training? He goes, Army training, doing? sir! <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he looked at me and goes, Fucking civilian. <laughs> Fucking civilian. Yeah, yeah. I, in my best Bill Murray voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at what our ohms are. Ohms of resistance to the fence. 1.3. 1.3 ohms of resistance, okay? So can we get better? Absolutely. But as Dave pointed out, out in, in the classroom, this fence goes around the entire perimeter. If you're using an airport or you're using a chain link fence, you've got to be aware of the potential for lightning strike in your area, okay? We don't have lightning coming in today. You could do a weather bug check real quick. The other thing to think about, those cables, those catch cables in the median of the interstate, not only have they reduced the death rate, rates on accidents and in, 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 they've reduced tickets. Because troopers can't just dive in the median anymore. <laughs> okay. But they are also a long cabled surface. They make good grounding points. Okay, so if you're on an interstate, you got a tractor trailer turned over with flammables, and you but you gotta test it. You can't just say, I put two grinding rods in, we should be good. 
you've got to verify because you need to know that you're making good content. And these, these 